Hi, everybody. This is awkward. It's been a while, but, uh, this happened, or is about to happen. So I know I've disassociated with all Wildworks games at this point, and all of this footage you're seeing is really old footage that I was going to use for my Feral series Anachronous, which became a Wattpad story by the way, so if you're still wondering what the heck happened to that, it happened, just not the way you think. It's a storybook on Wattpad now, so go ahead and give that a read. Anyways, back to the main topic of the video. Feral is shutting down a lot faster than I thought it would happen. Now, I would have waited until the last day that Feral was open to make this video, but it just seemed too important to sweep under the rug and not talk about. I may not be involved with Wildworks in any way, shape, or form anymore, but this was like a pretty big deal. I was at one point planning to come back just to make the Feral series happen. I know that's crazy to hear from me because I totally did a 180 on Wildworks last year and just ditched the company and was like, I am done with this. But I would have come back temporarily just to do Anachronous on Feral. But then this happened and it was like, whoa. Knowing how crazy and hectic things might be on Saturday when the servers reopen, I'm probably not going to get back into the game to make footage, so I'm just doing this now. You can call this a Visiting Feral One Last Time video, even though I'm not visiting, literally, because this, this is footage from October of 2020. It's pretty dang old. But I just have some thoughts. I mean, having been away almost a year now, my perspective on Wildworks games in general is quite different than it used to be. I used to view Wildworks games as my second home. It was like my home away from home. I wanted to make sure it was safe as possible. I wanted to be on good terms with everyone, never have any bad blood. I just wanted everything to go hunky-dory. And that was my problem. I treated Wildworks like a friend, not a company. Because at the end of the day, they are a company and they are not your friends. So, when I left in May of last year, I came to the conclusion that I need to stop expecting so much from this company and just move on to something else. Sure, it was an important part of my life, and I loved being an Animal Jam YouTuber for a while, but there came a day where I realized I need to stop obsessing over this and just move on. And I kind of see that through the lens of feral people now. It's totally okay to be upset that Feral shut down. It's totally okay to be angry at the company. But from what I've been witnessing, people are just losing their ever-loving minds over this whole Feral shutdown. And I'm not gonna fault anyone for that. I just had to come in and say something because I literally felt the same way last year when I left Animal Jam. I didn't know what I was gonna do next what was the next chapter in my life, but I certainly could not stick around and continue dealing with all of the crazy changes that Wildworks was making to their games, and not necessarily great ones. So, when I left, I watched the communities from an outside point of view. I realized this is just really unhealthy. I mean, People pour so much time and energy into these games and expect the company to deliver wholeheartedly on everything. And that's when I realized people have been treating Wildworks like a friend and not the company that they should be treated as. I mean, I'm not here to say I told you so, but when I left in May of last year, I kind of saw things going south from a mile away. I saw that at some point the company was going to make a really big decision that would upset everyone and when everyone expressed their disdain for it they would get censored and silenced. See, the thing is, the reason I predicted something like this would happen is because every time Wildworks or Animal Jam HQ or someone makes a decision that people don't like, when have they ever listened to the feedback and went back on their decision? I'll wait for an instance in which that has happened. My point here that I'm taking forever to make is that all this raging at the company, it hasn't worked and it's not going to work, unfortunately. Usually the only option when companies make decisions this drastic is to go along with it 
or move on completely. Since everyone's upset about it, my only advice now is to just move on from Wildworks and find another gaming company, another community, just something else, because that's what I have done since I left, in case it wasn't obvious. I mean, when you leave Wildworks games completely, you view it really differently. It doesn't look the same anymore. So many problems, so many opinions that you had while you were in the community, you're able to think and speak freely about them now because you're not associated anymore with that game or company. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. My advice here is to cut your losses and just find a new community to be a part of. It's hard, I understand completely, but there are so many games out there, so many other companies who listen to their fan base, treat them well, you don't feel like you're being talked down to when you're in those communities, and I speak from experience. I found a new community called the Super Animal Royale community. I know it's not going to be everyone's game. I'm not telling everyone to join it. It's just an example. That's the community I'm in now, and the people in charge there are so kind. They listen to their players, the game gets updated frequently, and the community is actually really decent. It doesn't feel like they're on fire every five seconds. And see, that's what kind of opened my mind. The environment of a community that you associate yourself with reflects on you as a person. It influences your attitude, it influences your behavior. I mean, just look at how, look at how uh, incoherent my rants were from a year ago. I remember being all like, are you actually serious, Wildworks? How many times have we said we don't like play wild? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry at how I used to talk in my old rant videos. They were really over-aggressive. I was becoming someone I'm not in real life, and it's this aggressive, angry individual who just whines and complains with no actual solution. And I didn't want to become that kind of person. So when I left, as hard as it was, it really led to my character development because for one, I'm happier than I've ever been. I'm a lot more calm. My mental and physical health has improved a lot. I don't feel like I have to censor myself every five to 10 seconds. The community that I'm in, they're really nice people. I don't feel like I'm being spoken down to whenever I ask for help. And see, like, the whole point of this video is not to cover the shutdown of Feral. We've all heard that story a thousand times at this point, especially from a much, much larger YouTuber than I, Izzy's, if that's how you pronounce it. Great video, by the way, if you haven't seen it. My video in particular is to kind of convince people that there is hope, there is a future after leaving this game. I know a lot of people are devastated at the thought that they will never get to play Feral again, but please know, there are other communities out there. Communities with companies that actually listen to their players, make you feel heard, and I just, it's really sad to see people thinking that it's over for them after this, and I just want to assure people, because nobody assured me when I left Animal Jam, so I'm just assuring y'all, there is something much better out there. I mean, first off, before I get criticized, I know Wildworks is a small company, and I know that it's hard for them to run three games. But if that's the case, why were they running three games if they couldn't, or if they could barely handle it? And see, like, that's just, that's what worries me. It's like, what if AJ Classic doesn't last now? Because if they have three games, Cinder, Play Wild, and Animal Gem Classic, how are they going to make that work? Now, I'm not saying AJ Classic is going to shut down, because I don't know the future, but what I'm saying is, in case the worst case scenario does happen, and AJ Classic does shut down, at least have a backup game to fall back on, some other community you can be in, so that when AJ Classic does go, you're not left in a rut of having no outlet or game to make videos for. You know, it's hard to be in that spot of not knowing where to go next. And if you just stick in one place the whole time and not go searching and broadening your horizons, you'll be left in that rut. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. I'm not telling you you have to replace Feral in all Wildworks games. I'm just saying there are communities out there where you will feel heard and you will feel like your voice matters. The environment you're in impacts you more than you realize. I hope that's something to think about. Best of luck, Animal Jam and Feral community. Not returning anytime soon, but I just wanted to give this advice. Thank you and goodbye.